Okay, we're going to talk about angle of attack now. Angle of attack, also written as AOA, is one of those simple yet commonly misunderstood aviation basics. That red line that I just drew is the aircraft wing's cord line, and the second red line that I drew is the relative wind. Relative wind is the opposite result of the aircraft's inertia moving forward. So if the aircraft's moving forward in a certain direction, the wind is going to be moving in the opposite direction. The angle that you calculate between the relative wind and the chord line is what's called the angle of attack. Have you ever noticed when airplanes take off, the longitudinal axis or the uh, nose tail axis is not parallel to the motion of flight? It has to do with today's lesson and that is the angle of attack. Most airplanes have to fly at a positive angle of attack just to maintain the same altitude. So a change in the angle of attack will change your lift. I think new student pilots get into trouble understanding angle of attack because they presume that the ground is always down and the sky is always up. Uh, I'm going to show you later that you can stall the airplane with the nose aimed straight for the ground. This is the most common illustration used to explain angle of attack. I think that this illustration can actually induce confusion in the students because the ground is always towards the ground, the sky is always towards the sky, and the nose is always pointed up in order to have a positive angle of attack. I'm certain that an advanced pilot will be able to understand the concept of angle of attack to the detail, but this is crash course and it's aimed towards the novice, so I'm explaining angle of attack in much more detail. I'm going to use this aerobatic maneuver to explain all the different attitudes where you can have different angles of attack. So it starts with aircraft 1, and as the aircraft begins to pitch up to aircraft 2 and 3, the vector of the aircraft is changing, and so it is with 5 and 6, and back to level. I'm using aircraft 1, 2, and 3 from the previous aerobatic example that I drew. Aircraft 1 on the bottom is just flying in level flight. It's flying horizontally. It does have a positive angle of attack, but it is a lot smaller than when you're initiating a climb or a turn. The pilot now increases the angle of attack, or changes the direction of the nose, and pulls. You notice the second line is drew, the black line? That is the inertia of the airplane still wanting to go in the previous direction. As the pilot increases the angle of attack, the lift increases. Now to airplane number three. The lift, or the wings, are essentially pulling the airplane away from its previous direction. It's kind of like a lead and lag game. The increase in angle of attack, or I'll just call it the red line, wants to pull away from the black line, which is the inertia of the aircraft. If you don't let off the stick and you keep pulling, the black line will never be able to catch up to you. So you get a constant change in motion. So in other words, we are turning. We're gonna be doing descending aircraft now, aircraft four, five, and six. Same concept as before, lead lag, only difference, we're doing it towards the ground. There is a limit to your angle of attack. We call that the critical angle of attack or the stalling angle of attack. If you pull any further beyond that, the wings stop working. As the pilot keeps pulling aft on the stick, the red line will keep diverging away from the black line until the pilot relieves pressure on the stick. Then the black line will eventually neutralize with the red line. Summary. AOA has nothing to do with the sky or the ground. Just for fun, does anyone know why it's called the angle of attack? I've been doing this for almost 20 years and I still can't figure out why it's called angle of attack. Uh, personally, I think it's a very poor choice in name. Uh, if I had a choice, perhaps I would pick something else. Perhaps a name that would have helped describe its function. Well, I don't know, uh, how about uh, angle of grip? because essentially the wings are gripping onto the air. It's, it's, kind of a, it's kind of an interesting way to think about it. I hope you got something from the video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments or opinions, please write them in the comment section below. Bye-bye.